Buenas and half a day. The Committee on Rules meeting is now called to order. For the record, today is Wednesday, January 22nd, 2020, and the time is now 2.06 p.m. Um, our core director, Ms. Mary Maravilla, will now call the roll of members. Chairperson, Regine Bisco-Lee. Buenas, Gaikia. Legislative Secretary, Amanda L. Shelton. Speaker, Tina Rose Munoz barnes Vice Speaker, Talina Cruz-Nelson. Senator Kelly Marsh Titano, Senator Sabina Flores Perez, Senator Clinton E. Rogel, Senator Joe S. San Augustine, Senator Jose Pito Terlahi, Senator Therese Antrelahi, Senator James C. Moylan, Senator Mary Camacho Torres. Madam Chair, you have a quorum. Sidosmasi, does the chair hear a motion to excuse members not present? So moved. Moved by Senator Torres and seconded by Speaker Barnes. It's been moved and seconded that members not present be excused. Any objections? No objections. Hearing none, motion carries. Um, I'll give you a few minutes to review our core meeting minutes from November 12th, 2019, and then we'll entertain motions to adopt them. Madam Chair, your, your minutes were submitted, was provided to us prior to even this meeting. Um, I move that it be adopted, subject to any administrative errors or corrections that needs to be made. There's been a motion by Senator St. Augustine to adopt the core meeting minutes from November 12th, 2019, seconded by Speaker Munya Barnes. Any objection? Hearing none, motion carries. Um, we'll now move to core business and document tracking. The first item of core business is an update. Uh, the legislative secretary will now provide the report. Sidious Masi, Madam Chair, Hafiday colleagues, the legislative secretary report today is as follows. Appointments by the governor. There are 170 appointments submitted by Governor Leon Guerrero to date. During the February 2019 session, 11 appointments were confirmed. In March 2019, eight appointments confirmed. April 2019, 25 appointments confirmed. May 2019, 21 appointments confirmed. July 2019, 11 appointments confirmed. August 2019, 21 appointments confirmed. September 2019, 11 appointments confirmed. October 2019, nine appointments confirmed. 12 appointments confirmed in November 2019 and five appointments confirmed in December 2019, totaling 134 appointments confirmed to date. Of the remaining 36 appointments, some have been withdrawn and some are pending confirmation. No pending appointments, however, have extended beyond the authorized 90-day limit. Zone changes. There are three zone change requests at this time. No new requests have been filed. Rules and regulations. We received 12 proposed rules and regulations. Five of the 10 have had their public hearing. Sidious Masi, Madam Chair. Sidious Masi, Madam Secretary. The next item of business is the ratification of referrals. The referrals of bills, resolutions, and appointments are indicated in each of the corresponding logs. Senator Trelawhi, you recognized. Madam Chair, if I could just make an amendment to the, the Legislative Secretary's report on the appointments, I mean, on the um, rules and regs. Uh, the rules and regs that were submitted by the Board of Allied Health, it's on line eight, and then it's again, there's a correction on line 11. Both of those, they were passed in a bill form, so those are completed. I understand. We still need to note them in our log for the record, even though they were... Um, I know. I'm asking that the... Bill. But the log shows the status, so I'm asking that the status be updated to show that they've been completed. Okay. okay. So, Masi. Is there a motion to ratify... Is there a motion to ratify the referral of bills? So moved. Moved by Second. the Speaker, seconded by Senator Shelton. 
Any objection? Hearing none, motion carries. Is, is there a motion to ratify the referral of resolutions? So moved. Moved by Senator Shelton. Seconded by Senator St. Augustine. Is there a motion to ratify the referrals of executive appointments? For executive appointments? Mm -hmm. so moved. moved by the speaker. Seconded, Seconded by Senator Terlahi, Pito Terlahi. Any objection? Hearing none, motion carries. And um, we'll now move to consideration of items eligible for placement on our session agenda. Since our November meeting, the committee reports for the following items have been duly filed and met Committee on Rules Committee report deadline. Bill number six, Bill 11, Bill 34, Bill 41, Bill 46, Bill 56, Bill 69, Bill 141, Bill 173, Bill 177, Bill 182, Bill 183, Bill 196, Bill 200, Bill 201, Bill 204, Bill 210, Bill 231, and resolution number 255-35 LS. The committee reports for the following executive appointments have been duly filed with the Committee on Rules. The appointment of Feli Angel to serve as a member, retired teacher, school administrator of GDOE, rep of the Guam Education Board. The appointment of Nonito V. Blas to serve as a member of the Guam Environmental <coughs> Protection Agency, Board of Directors. The appointment of Jose Arthur D. Chan, Jr. to serve as a member of the Guam Land Use Commission. The appointment of Agapito A. Diaz to serve as a member of the Guam, University of Guam Board of Regents. The appointment of Cynthia V. Ecube to serve as a member of the Guam Board of Equalization. The appointment of Pedro S. Nicolas Guerrero to serve as a member, a utility representative of the Public Utilities Commission. And the appointment of Pelagio Sardoma to serve as a member of the Guam Board of Equalization. Um, the draft session agenda has been provided to all members. Are there any motions to place bills in the second reading file at this time? Speaker, you're recognized. Um, Madam Chair, um, thank you for giving me this opportunity. My first item uh, I think I'd like to put on the agenda would be bill number 41-35-COR, as amended by the Committee on Rules. Um, we, as introduced by myself, Senate Legislative Secretary Shelton, uh, Assistant Majority Leader March Titano, um, Senator Will Castro, and yourself, uh, Senator Lee. It's an act to add a new Chapter 16 to Title II, Guam Code Annotated, relative to expanding, enhancing, and implementing the Public Policy Institute, the PPI program, to encourage educational, political, and real work growth, as well as offer work experience which we call the PPI bill, Madam Chair. Sitos Masi, uh, Madam Speaker, there's been a motion to move Bill 41-35-COR as amended by the Speaker, Second. seconded by Senator Shelton. Any objection to placing Bill 41 on the agenda? Hearing none, motion carries. Speaker? Uh, Just a question, Madam Speaker. It says as amended by the Committee on Rules. Yeah, oh. they heard the bill. Oh, because, I'm sorry. Thank it's you. okay. Bill number 177-35-COR, um, as introduced by myself, um, I was just informed that it met the uh, uh, core deadline, an act to repeal section five of public law 33-186 in article six, chapter eight, title four of the Guam code annotated relative to the Guam Retirement Security Plan. Um, hoping that that can get on the agenda, Madam Chair. There's been a motion to move Bill 177-35 COR. Um, moved by the Speaker, seconded by Senator St. Augustine. Any objection? No. Hearing none, motion carries. Madam Speaker. Resolution 255-35 LS, um, as introduced by myself, Senator Joseph Augustine, Senator Mars Titano, Secretary Shelton, and Senator Pito 
Chair Lai, it's relative to supporting Guam's application for membership to the Unrepresented Nations and People's or Organization, which is UNPO. I like that that be put on the agenda, please. There's been a motion to place resolution 255-35LS on the session agenda by the speaker. Seconded by Senator St. Augustine. Any objection? No objections. Hearing none, motion carries. Um, Madam Speaker, I know this probably want to get, uh, won't get on, but I want to make it known for the record because I understand that the committee report uh, is being routed. Uh, it's Bill 154-35-COR as introduced by myself, and it's an act to authorize Imagala in Guahan to relocate the uh, 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 384, uh, 384 square meters of, of an existing boot cart trail within lot number 5071 uh, R1-2 in the municipality of Timuning to an area consisting of the square meters within said lot for, for public right of way use. Um, this was introduced uh, last year um, in, in June, it went through the process, and I just know that it's being circulated. I want to make sure that it's noted for the record if the uh, opportunity persists. 154 35 CR. Duly noted, Suzos Mossy, Madam Thank Speaker. You. Vice Speaker, you're recognized. Suzos Mossy, Madam Chair. Madam Chair, I'd like to make a motion to move Bill number 196 35 as amended by the Committee on Education, Air Transportation, and Statistics Research and Planning, an act to amend subsections 7116 Alpha and Delta, both of Chapter 7, Division 2, Title 17, Guam Code Annotated, relative to authorizing the Guam Department of Education to enter into power purchase agreements to purchase solar energy from qualified providers. So just Masi, that's Bill 196-35 LS, moved by the Vice Speaker. Seconded by Senator Joseph Augustine. Any objections no to objection. placing Bill 196 onto the session agenda? Hearing none, motion carries. Vice Speaker. Thank you, Madam Chair. Madam Chair, I'd like to make a motion to move Bill number 231-35-COR as amended by the Committee on Public Accountability, Human Resources, and the Guam Buildup, an act to amend subsection 8104 PAPA of Article 1, Chapter 8, Title 4, Guam Code Annotated, relative to including Department of Youth Affairs, peace officers as uniformed personnel for retirement purposes. It does state that it needs revision. I believe those revisions were made. made. Yes. And so uh, this is the, as revised. So just Mossy, Madam Vice Speaker, that's bill number 231-35-COR, moved by the Vice Speaker, seconded by the Speaker. Any objection? No objection. Hearing none, motion carries. Madam Vice. Thank you, Madam Chair. I, we, may I move my appointments or we're still on bills? Okay, thank you, that is all. So just Mossy, Madam Chair, I move to place bill number 200-35COR as amended by the Committee on Federal and Foreign Affairs, Telecommunications, Technology and Labor, authored by uh, Ray Jean Bisco Lee, an act to amend subsection 9107B, 9109C, 20, 9110A, and E and 9115M to add a new subsection D to subsection 9108 and to add a new subsection 9146, all of chapter nine, title 22, Guam <coughs> code annotated relative to updating Guam's 30 year old rates for workers' compensation and authorizing alternative medical facilities for injured employees onto the session agenda. There's been a motion to place bill number 200-35COR as amended um, on the session agenda by Senator Shelton, seconded by the speaker. Any objection to placing bill 200-35 on the session agenda? No Hearing none, motion carries. Madam Secretary. Thank you very much, Madam Chair. I also move to place bill number 201-35COR as amended by the Committee on Federal and Foreign Affairs, Telecommunications, Technology and Labor, and authored by Regine Bisco Lee, an act to add subsection 9141 of Chapter 9, Title 22, Guam Code Annotated, relative to the composition of the Workers' Compensation Commission and appearance of members at meetings and hearings by telephone or video conference call onto the session agenda. 
to Dosmasi, Madam Secretary, there's been a motion to place Bill 201-35-COR as amended onto the session agenda by Secretary Shelton, seconded by Senator St. Augustine. Any objection? No objection? Hearing none, motion carries. Senator Shelton. Okay. Senator St. Augustine, you're recognized. Thank you, Madam Chair. I'd um, like to move Bill 204-35-CR as amended by the Committee on General Government Operation Appropriation of Housing, introduced by myself, an act to add a new Article 9 to Chapter 77, Division 2, Title 12, Guam Code, annotated relative to authorize the issuance of tax credit for contributors to the renovation, improvement, and participation of the Guam Basketball Confederation to the FIBA Asia Cup. There's been a motion to place Bill 204-35 as amended onto the session agenda by Senator St. Augustine, seconded by Speaker Munya Barnes. Any objection? Sorry, uh, Madam Speaker, just a um, correction, potential correction on this. It was amended by the Committee on uh, Environment, Revenue, and Taxation and Procurement. Uh, oh, I apologize. So yeah. as amended by the Committee on uh, Environment, Revenue, Taxation and Procurement. Okay, I will update that. Sudos so Masi for, for that correction. Bill number 204 has been moved and seconded. Any objection to the placement of Bill 204 as amended? Hearing none, motion carries. Nothing Senator further. Sudos so Masi. Um, Kelly. Kelly, Kelly, Senator Pito. Madam Chair, I would like to move Bill number 182-35 to the session floor. Introduced by myself, Tina Roos Munia Barnes, and William M. Castro. What is the, what, what bill? 182-35. Uh, okay, and I have to add a new, new section 90 dash, uh, Point 41 to chapter 90 of Title IX, 9 Guam Code annotated relative to creating an inmate commissary at the Department of Correction. Second. It has been Bill number 182-35 as introduced uh, has been moved by Senator Pito Terlahi, seconded by Speaker. Any objections to placement of Bill 182 onto the session agenda? No. Hearing none, motion carries. Senator Pito. Uh, I also... Uh, Madam Chair, I would like to move Bill number 183-35-COR to the session floor, introduced by myself, Tina Roos, Munya Barnes, William Castro, and an act to add a new Article 6 to Chapter 90 of Title IX GCA relative to the creation of a civilian correctional or correction reserve program at the Department of Correction. Sidos Masi, Senator, that's Bill number 183-35-COR as introduced, moved by Senator Jose Pito Terlahi, seconded by Senator St. Augustine. Any objection? No. Hearing none, motion carries. Senator Terlahi? No, uh, I was going to uh, say something about the, the new bill that I introduced, but since we have a discussion over it, uh, uh, the speaker's office. I, I decline to uh, kind of decline to uh, just leave that alone. Thank you, Madam Chair. I'd like to move Bill Number Two One Zero Dash Thirty Five, an act to appropriate the balance of the Hospital Capital Improvement Fund to the Guam Memorial Hospital Authority for capital improvement projects. Bill number 210-35, COR, as introduced, has been moved by Senator Cherlahi. Do I hear Se a second? Second. Seconded yes. by Senator St. Augustine. Any objection to the placement of Bill 210-35, COR, as introduced? Hearing none, motion carries. Senator? Thank you. I'd also like to move Bill number 173-35, as amended by the Committee on Health, Tourism, and Historic Preservation, Land, and Justice. It's an act to add a new chapter 93 to Title IX Guam Code annotated relative to establishing a standardized risk assessment and system of treatment programs for criminal sexual conduct offenders, which shall be known as the Criminal Sexual Conduct Assessment and Rehabilitation Act. Second. 
There has been a motion to move Bill 173-35 as amended by Senator Terlahi, seconded by Speaker Munia Barnes. Any objection to the placement of 173? Hearing none, motion carries. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I'd also just like to report, I'd like, um, not sure if this, it's a bill number 102. Uh, it's sponsored by Senator Mary Torres. It's been reported out of my committee, so it's with the Committee on Rules. It, it missed the deadline by about an hour and a half, and I, I, I'm hoping that this bill will also make it to the agenda. Senator Torres, you're recognized. Thank you, Madam Chair. I move to place Bill Number 102-35 LS as amended by the Committee on Health, Tourism, Historic Preservation, Land and Justice on the ad session agenda. Um, Bill 10235 is an act to add a new chapter 53 to Title VII of GCA relative to the creation of civil remedies for victims of intentional or threatened disclosure of intimate images and to further citing this act as the bomb uniform civil remedies for unauthorized disclosure of intimate images act. Sudas Masi, Senator Torres, I'll just uh, repeat that this this bill, the committee report res was received by the Committee on Rules. It did not meet the, the committee report deadline, but that's not an objection on my part. It's been moved by Senator Torres. That's Bill 102-35 LS as amended by the committee, seconded by Senator Moylan. Any objections? Hearing none, motion carries. Senator Torres. Thank you. For informational purposes, Madam Chair, um, it is my intention to move Bill 162-35 COR um, at the, uh, while we are in session onto the agenda. Um, this is a, a bill that was amended by the Committee on Health, Tourism, Historic Preservation, Land and Justice. I believe the committee report is done but is yet to be circulated and uh, because of the, the sensitivity, sensitivity of the subject at hand um, and the very nature of this, this bill, I'm, I'm going to respectfully uh, attempt to get it circulated and if I should be successful in, in getting the committee report issued, um, released and circulated and submitted to court, then at that time I, I will try to move 162-34 while we're in session. But I'm just- Duly noted. Yeah, I'm just noting it for the record. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Senator Moylan. Thank you, Madam Chair. I'd like to move uh, onto session agenda bill number 14535-CORE as amended by the Committee on Health, Historic Preservation, Land and Justice, uh, sponsored by Senator Tello Taitakui and Senator Jose uh, Pedro Terlahi, which I is- I apologize, Senator Moylan. Can you just repeat the number? Was it 145 or 141? 141. Okay, so that's 35. Thank you. Okay. Uh, please proceed. Thank you. Uh, which is an act to amend subsection 61545 of subarticles 5, article 5, chapter 61, division 2, title 21, Guam Code annotated relative to violations involving of sign regulations. Sister Smasi, there's been a motion to move Bill 141-35 COR as amended onto the session agenda by Senator Moylan. Second. Seconded by the speaker. Any objection? Hearing none, motion carries. Senator? Thank you, Madam Chair, that's all. Sudos so Masi, uh, well now, Senator St. Augustine, you're recognized. Madam Chair, I'd just like to ask that our members at this meeting, please be mindful of the number of bills we've introduced. We've only have so many days, and as we go into session, the amount of amendments we can anticipate, we may be overwhelmed, and the time that we end up having to vote is normally at the end of the five days, so I just ask our members that to seriously consider, if anything else is to be added, be mindful the amount of time we have. We've got five days, unless we all agree to continue on for another week, then I can understand that. Thank you, Madam Chair. Duly noted.
Speaker, do you have any appointments you'd like to move? Not at this time. I'll wait. I don't think Not this time. Okay. Madam Chair. Madam Vice. Sita Smasi, Madam Chair, I'd like to uh, move the appointment of Felicitas Angel to serve as a member at Retired Teacher School Administrative GDOE representative of the Guam Education Board with a term length of three, year, three years starting April 15, 2007 to April 14, 2020. Mm -hmm. Sujus um, the Vice Speaker has moved the appointment of Feli Angel for the Guam Education Board. Do I hear a second? Second. Seconded by Senator Shelton. Any objection? objection. Hearing none, motion carries. Madam Vice. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, that'll be all. Thank you, colleagues. Do you have any? Yes, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Madam Chair. I move to add the appointment of Agapito A. Diaz to serve as a member of the University of Guam Board of Regents onto the session agenda. There's been a motion to move the appointment of Agapito Diaz by Senator Shelton, seconded by the Speaker. Any objection? Hearing none, motion carries. Madam Secretary? Anything else? No. Senator Sabina? Do you have? Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, I move to place um, the appointment of Nanito V. Blas to serve as a member of the Guam Environmental Protection Agency Board of Directors on the session agenda. There has been a movement to place, a motion to place the appointment of Nonito V. Blas uh, for the GIPA Board of Directors by Senator Sabina, Second. seconded by the Speaker. Any objection? No. Hearing none, motion carries. Senator? Um, thank you, Madam Chair. Um, I also move to place the appointment of Cynthia V. Akube to serve as a member of the Board of Equalization. The appointment of Cynthia Akube has been moved by Senator Paris, seconded by the Speaker. Any objection? No objection. Hearing none, motion carries. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. I also move to place the appointment of Pedro S. N. Guerrero to serve as a member of the um, utilities represent representative of the PUC. The appointment of Pedro S. N. Guerrero has been moved by Senator Paris, seconded by Senator Joseph Augustine. Any objection? Hearing none, motion carries. Senator. Uh, and lastly, I would, I would like to move to place the appointment of Pelagio S. Sardoma to serve as a member on the, the Guam Board of Equalization. The appointment of Pelagio S. Sardoma has been moved by Senator Paris, seconded by Senator St. Augustine. Any objection? Hearing none, motion carries. Any other member wish to be heard on appointments? Sen Senator Chalahi. I'd like to um, move the appointment of Jose Arthur D. Chan, Jr. to serve as a member of the Guam Land Use Commission. The appointment of jo Jose Arthur D. Chan, Jr. to serve as a member of the Guam Land Use Commission has been moved by Senator Therese Terlahi and seconded by Senator San Augustine. Any objection? No objection. Hearing none, motion carries. Senator Terlahi? The draft session agenda is... Already did. Senator Kelly, you're recognized. Siju Smasi, Madam Chair. Um, and I do apologize for going out of, out, out of order. And I know we just mentioned that there are a number of bills here. But uh, with every rip current warning and every uh, hiking rescue and, and rescue out of the ocean, I feel compelled to try to get uh, to work at getting uh, Bill 241-35 uh, so that uh, some of those issues can be addressed as soon as possible, sooner uh, rather than later. It's an act to add a new section 72110 to chapter 72, title 10, Guam code annotated relative to creating and implementing a rip current and hiking safety awareness program and outreach plan. Duly noted, Sizosmasi. 
So these bills that we have moved into the second reading file and the resolutions as well into the second reading file and the appointments have been placed under legislative concurrence. Um, with that, colleagues, I, with that, colleagues, okay. I'd like a motion to adopt the session agenda. So moved, uh, Madam Chair. Madam Chair, could you just clarify what happened with Bill 241? That was not a motion? It was, it was just noted oh, okay. because uh, we don't, it, report. the report has not been submitted oh, by, right. to the Committee on Rules that been time for the deadline, and I'm not sure if we've already received it. So right. we're, she's you. just making a mention that she will place it. So just Masi. Again, there is a motion to adopt this session agenda that so we have moved by the Speaker, seconded by Senator Moylan. Any objection? No objection. Hearing none, motion carries. With the placement of these bills, whoop, I apologize. In accordance with the standing rules, the agenda will be published within the next 24 hours. The floor is now open for further discussion. Any member wish to be heard? Senator Chirlahi and yes, then I Senator Sinan. I just wanted to note that um, because of the last session and, and our public hearings where the administration has not been attending, uh, that several of these might be appropriation bills and, and we might go into Committee of the Whole, so I'd just like in advance, I don't know, if the leadership could just work on that to s try to ensure that we would get representation by BBMR and DOA. Thank you. Duly noted, Sidzus Masi. Um, Senator St. Augustine, you're recognized. M motion to adjourn. Oh, you want to speak? After her announcement, just one second. Senator Torres. I just wanted to uh, inform the body that we have on January the 28th at noon scheduled a resolution presentation commemorating the 50th anniversary of the Elective Governor Act and the members of the first cabinet that served uh, during that period from 1971 to 1974. So I just want to, to just note that for the record. I, I hope that you know, this body would, would join in uh, commemorating that historic first step towards greater self-governance on Guam, aside from the Organic Act, of course. But uh, it is a milestone, 50 years, and I hope to, I'm trying very much to engage the cabinet members or the families of the deceased cabinet members. So if, if anybody is, is aware, um, we've done a pretty good job, but 50 years is a long time and people have moved on. So, uh, but, but if anything, I would be very honored if my colleagues would join me for that and a light lunch serving, of course. So this here in the um, public hearing room. Here in the public hearing yes. room, and that's January 28th at 12 yes. noon. At 12 noon, yes. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Senator St. Augustine, you're recognized. Thank you, Madam Chair. M a motion to adjourn. Seconded by the speaker, moved by Senator St. Augustine, seconded by, this, by the speaker. Um, Sudo Smasi, for your attendance and participation at today's core meeting. Colleagues, the time is now 2.39 p.m., and this Committee on Rules meeting is hereby adjourned. Thank you. Sudos Masi.